Hey, this is Miss G. Fourth of July is coming up this weekend and it is so hot in Alabama. So I thought we need some kind of dessert that's light, not too sweet, and it's cold going down. So today we're gonna to be making grape salad. This is what you'll need to make grape salad. Some washed and dried grapes, sour cream, cream cheese, a half a cup of sugar, some brown sugar to sprinkle on top, vanilla, and if you prefer nuts, you can use any kind of nuts. I've got walnuts, but I've also seen pecans put on top. So when you're making grape salad, you need to do a little bit of prep work. So this is about four bunches of grapes that I have pulled off the vine. So I took two bunches of green seedless grapes and I took two bunches of black seedless grapes. And I like my grapes mixed together. You can use all green grapes, you can use purple grapes, any mixture you like. I like to use this mixture because I think it looks pretty. And it also tastes pretty good too. The other thing you need to prep is go ahead and lay your cream cheese out. Lay it on the counter about an hour before you're ready because it needs to be softened so it's not lumpy when you uh, blend it together with your sugars. My grapes aren't completely dry, so what I do is I get a clean dish towel, I lay it out on my counter, I pour my grapes in, be careful that they don't roll away. So do it slowly. So I've got my grapes. You can tell they're not very dry. And then I like to just close up the sides like this. And I kind of roll them back and forth to get them good and dry. And they're not going to be all perfectly dry, but they'll be drier than they were before. Try to get them as dry as possible. But don't bash them too hard because you don't want to squish them. I'm going to pour them back in that bowl or in the colander. And they're much drier than they were. Okay, so now I'm going to take my mixing bowl and I'm going to put my softened cream cheese in. So I've got my softened cream cheese in. Just going to scrape this in and make sure I get it all in there. You're going to need a cup of sour cream. So I'm going to use half of this because it's 16 ounces and I know a cup is 8 ounces. So I'm going to use half of the sour cream. You need half a cup of regular granulated sugar. And I like to put a couple capfuls of vanilla flavoring in. Okay, I'm gonna blend this with my mixer and then we'll fold our grapes in. Scrape my sides down. As you can see, my mixture is nice and smooth, it's not lumpy, and everything's mixed together really well. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pour my grapes in and fold it with my spatula. There's, I don't usually
usually measure my grapes, so I just put in as many as I think. It, it's according to how coated you want them to be. If you want a lighter coating, use more grapes. If you want a thicker coating, use less. So I just kind of eyeball it to see how coated my mixture is, because I like them to be good and creamy. So I see I missed a little stem. I'm gonna grab that while I see it. Okay, I'm gonna be able to put all of mine in. I love grape salad. I even make it at Thanksgiving sometimes. Okay, I like my coating a little thicker. I like to be able to taste the cream cheese and sour cream mixture and sugar. So that's what mine looks like. If I wanted it to be a little less, I could put more grapes in it and make it less coated, but I like it like this. Okay. You can leave it in the bowl you make it in. Um, square stuff fits better in my refrigerator or rectangular stuff. So I'm gonna put mine in a rectangular dish. So I'm just gonna put it in. Make sure I get all that good stuff in there. I think this would be really good on just about any fruit. I would think that pineapple and strawberries and blueberries would be delicious also in this. I've never had that, but I don't see how this mixture wouldn't taste good on that. So I may try that one day when I've got um, pineapple or strawberries. Our blueberries are coming in on our blue bush or on our bushes, so. If I get an abundance of those, I may have to try it. Just see. I don't see how it could taste bad because I love the way this tastes. Okay. Let me stick that in the sink. Now I'm just gonna take my brown sugar and I'm just gonna sprinkle it across the top. And once it sits, it kind of melts in a little bit. Not really melt, but it kind of settles in. I just like to sprinkle it across the top. That seems like a good amount. That was a third of a cup that I sprinkled across the top. If you like nuts or you're not allergic to nuts, um, you can put walnuts on top. I've seen it with pecans on top. I'm sure almonds would be good. When I make this for school, I don't put nuts on it because we have some people at school who are allergic to nuts. But at home, sometimes I'll put it in and sometimes I don't. I like it both ways. So I'm just going to go ahead and sprinkle some walnuts across the top today. But again, these do not have to go on there. Just kind of gives it a little extra crunch. So I'm just going to put full on top of it and I'm going to put it in my refrigerator and that's going to be a light, not too sweet, cool treat to have on the 4th of July.